Hello again, YGPC. Welcome to Thursday. Um, so I'm smoking my beautiful Savinelli 320. I will be anyway. Um, Roma Lucite in it, I have Peter Stokovy Luxury Twist Flake. This will be my second bowl of this this morning. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, unfortunately, due to, and I knew this would happen, due to the last video I posted yesterday, there's things going on in the comments on the channel. It hasn't gotten out of hand yet. Well, it won't. Um, there's been a couple comments that I thought I needed to I need to discuss, okay, because this is still kind of connected with yesterday. Um, the whole freedom of speech, what should be, what shouldn't be. Mm. If you have not had this, you need to try it. Very, very good. Uh, before I get into the discussion, yesterday, I was busy. I made two videos. Busy on this. It was a busy social media day. Um, and I was out here smoking a lot. And Kind of had a little bit of a frightening experience for me. Started having kind of uh, feeling like, uh, you know, my heart rate was up. I know my heart rate was up. I could actually feel my pulse, you know. Um, I didn't take my blood pressure, but I know it was up and it's probably due to too much smoking. And here I am again, right? I'm gonna try to not go so heavy today. Um, but man, these past two weeks have been so awesome. Just getting to spend time out here, enjoy the local wildlife, enjoy my pipe, enjoy talking to, and conversing with all of you. Uh, that's why I love the YTPC so much. Um, I put a disclaimer, or whatever you want to call it, on the video. I have two choices, either start another channel, talk about politics while smoking a pipe, or keep the channel I got and continue to converse with all the people that I've gotten to know and care about. Um, generally, I've, you don't have much luck on YouTube anyway once you start, uh, unless you stick to a strict narrative on YouTube, any political, you won't have much luck with it. So I'm just going to leave the channel as is, but I will be putting disclaimers on videos. That way those who uh, just absolutely cannot sit through and listen to a person's opinion, whether it's opposite of theirs or the same. They won't have to, you know, watch the whole video. So I had one comment right there. I felt I had to, you know, I had to respond to, um, and now I'm getting other responses from other people. And my response was, if I was to say that I, I am in complete disagreement with the idea of drag queens reading sexualized content in books to young children, would that be considered hate speech? I would almost all go to the extent of calling, saying it's grooming children. It is. 
there's no way around that. I'm getting some pushback. Um, you know, many, many people on the opposites, you know, whether you're left or right, many people on the left side of center, they are, they are absolutely against any kind of religion being taught in our schools. That's fine. That's, that's your opinion. And that's, and I'm not, I'm not even saying I'm for that. Um, I'm 54 years old. And in my earlier educational years, when, you know, elementary school, we didn't talk about Jesus. We didn't talk about um, God. Uh, religion wasn't big. And I'm from a rural area. I'm not from an urban area. Um, so maybe down south, maybe this is a big problem, but I never knew it was a huge problem, um, you know, pushing religion onto our kids. Now, there's actually people that pay to send their kids to schools that that's basically what the school is based on is whatever faith, okay? They're paying for that. That's, they're choosing, that's what they're choosing for their kids. My response, and this is about the LGBTQ, you know, you had a comment about it, you saw it. If you're gonna make comments like that in, people, in people's channels, you're going to, you have to expect pushback. That's what I did, and that's what I'm doing. Um, for me to be against that, and then labeled hate speech, is a stretch, to say the least. Um, many people might not realize this, but I truly believe, and I got facts to back it up, and I'll tell you in a minute, that certain states, they are, they, California just passed a law that is really, really, really reducing penalties against pedophiles. Um, I don't, I think they made it to where it's not a felony anymore. Um, they're just flat out saying that uh, the penalties were too strict against those who you know, have sex, I call it rape, because let's face it, young children, they're very influential. You can convince a young child, if you're, if you're well skilled at it, you can convince a young child of almost doing anything. And to me, that's wrong. You should not, there should not be, that should not be part of uh, any, how, how we can call that Progressing in society, I have no idea. Um, so when it comes to that <clears throat> movement, they have every right. They have every right to expect to be treated, okay, like everyone else. There's, there's. I'm not arguing that. What I'm arguing is certain things that is happening within that group is not okay with me, okay? Um, and for me to voice my opinion on that, I will, you know, and then it be called hate speech that I'm targeting, you know, no, not the case. It's, that's my beliefs, that's how I was raised. Um, you know, I was raised in a, your conventional, you know, Mom, dad, brothers. Um, there wasn't a lot of religion talked about in my household, and there certainly wasn't anything like this stuff talked about in my household. Um, but being in the modern social media era, you see a lot of stuff, and I've seen it, and it's happening, and it should not be happening in my honest opinion. That's why I said yesterday that it seems like 
anything anybody says that goes against a narrative, you know, from the other side is being labeled hate speech. Now, if I was to say, yeah, they should all be shot, that's hate speech. I'm not saying shit like that. That's just ignorant to say things like that. Um, as far as, <laughs> I mean, that is, that's saying a statement, okay, to initiate a prescribed response. That's what that is. And it is hateful to say things like that, but just to state a fact that, you know, and your opinion along with that fact is not hate speech. Bottom line. Um, so that's the message I got. Um, I'm sure I'll get comments. That's fine. Um, I welcome that on my channel. Um, you won't change my mind on this, and I probably won't change other people's minds. <clears throat> but it is something that, you know, that needed to be discussed. Once I, I saw the comment, I had to discuss it. Um, we'll see what YouTube does or thinks about it. I think it'll be fine. This is not me stating that I think every person who fits in that group is, uh, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people in the LGBTQ that probably aren't real keen on what I talked about. Um, it doesn't do their cause any good, basically. Um, but the fact that we do have states like California that is like legislating, easing up on, you know, crimes against children, that, that kind of eats at me a little bit. And I'm from, you know, Illinois, it's not far behind California, so who knows, but I have my opinions on why that's happening. Um, I won't give them because it'll just be, you know, okay, that's, it'll just be labeled as conspiracy theory. I think just a little bit to justify it, I think many of those, there are many who legislate, there are many in pop culture who are guilty of those crimes and they are kind of, uh, they're aware that people are waking up and uh, it's part of, anymore they don't just, they don't have the media to just, you know, do all the dirty work anymore. People are waking up, so they have to start using legislative <clears throat> means to uh, hope, hopefully for them, eventually stay out of jail. <laughs> and that's that sounds far-fetched, but I truly believe that's what it is. Pretty coincidental that it's California, you know, Hollywood, pop culture capital of the world. Uh, got more probably liberal judges on the benches in that state than probably any state. Um, it's just sad. In my opinion, it's a sad. <clears throat> it's, it's the world that we're living in. It's just like completely gone off the rails. So we're going to have hard discussions. That's what this is. We're going to have hard discussions. Um, I started out my video with my pipe and my tobacco, so you can't say it wasn't pipe, all pipe, wasn't pipe related at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So again, just a reminder, you know, when it comes to putting out content, there's always going to be content that you're going to get pushed back on. There's going to be discussion on. Hopefully we can just stay as civil about it as we can. Don't jump the gun and uh, unsubscribe from channels. Um, discussion, discussion, discussion. That's what it's all about. Um, I'm probably, this will be the only video I make today. 
I don't have a lot going on, but I'm just going to uh, just kind of chill out today. Hopefully not be super stressed out. Um, <laughs> it's almost hard. It's really hard to not be this day and age with, uh, you know, I mean, <clears throat> we're the YTPC, man. I mean, we this stuff, we don't worry about this stuff. But, uh, yeah, sometimes there's just, things have to be said, things have to be, opinions have to be put out. Um, that's about it. Um, again, uh, I appreciate everybody who subscribes to my channel, um, continues to come back and uh, comment, um, help others when it comes to pipe-related stuff. Um, I've gotten some really good, really good subscribers. I'm lucky to have I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I'm lucky to have a lot of the ones that I have. Um, they're really, you know, pretty much almost family to me now. And uh, just smart, you know, um, wonderful people. And uh, I continue, I hope that it continues to grow, that we're, you know, we continue to gain more people. Um, yes, talk about pipes, talk about tobacco, talk about lighters, um, and, uh, I'll get back on track with that. I just, um, I need to discuss this and it, it probably, I should have known it was coming, <laughs> but, um, anyway, I hope everyone has a great Thursday until next time.